work of some students in Arvada could end up having statewide impact. Yeah, this started as a mission to get feminine hygiene products and some restrooms at their school. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us live tonight. Sean, these dispensers, I was surprised to learn, aren't in school restrooms. Yeah, Karen, if they are, they're broken like this one or empty like this one. While girls represent half of all students, they say feminine hygiene products are treated as luxuries, not necessities at school. Research shows one in five girls misses classes because they don't have access to a pad or tampon. A group of girls in Arvada is determined to change that by changing state law. In all Colorado public school restrooms, you'll find free toilet paper, free hand soap, and free paper towels. But in many, if not most, you won't find any feminine hygiene products. A lot of people we know will just like leave school or like not go if they don't have access to these products. The beginning of the problem starts with the stigma around periods. The Intersectional Feminist Club at Arvada West decided to do something about it. And they had no idea what they were getting into. We came in thinking that this wasn't going to be like a huge deal. Administration, they said, told them there wasn't money, so the girls raised it. It said there weren't custodians to stock the dispensers, so they volunteered. We sort of have just, um, I don't know, received a lot of pushback and kind of gone against it every step of the way. And they didn't stop at their school. They're now on a mission to help all Colorado public schools by changing state law. We didn't want the girls throughout other schools to have to put up the fight we did. New policymakers in the making here. The girls asked their representative, Brianna Titone, to introduce a bill to help other public schools provide free menstrual products. I said, I will run the bill under one condition that you have to run the bill with me. And I saw it as a real opportunity for these kids to get an education on uh, what it takes for a bill to become law. Are you excited at the prospect that you could help change state law? Now, four states require their public schools to provide free menstrual products. Representative Tatone's bill would set up a grant program to help public schools here afford those products. And it would give priority to those schools with more low-income students. The girls at Arvada West raised $1,300 to buy three dispensers for their school and got a private donor to pay for the products for one year. Tatone is hoping other donors come forward to help with that state grant program. Karen, Dominic. Right. Thank you, Sean.